Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, bit of curbling and um, basically this is what I did to fill my time whilst waiting for a pizza to cook. I was like, hey, I, I, uh, I can do some crazy stuff. Let, let's make a pendulum. Unfortunately, almost all of this is me just falling to the floor. Uh, this one, like, I haven't quite figured out at the moment why the spawn keeps disappearing. Uh, that's a little journey that we're going to go on in the next couple of minutes while I dirt this, way, this one out. Um, so yeah, uh, you probably get the idea of what I'm going for here. Uh, a crossbar across, uh, a little loop to hold it on, and then just swing round like a swing. Um, unfortunately, that kept happening. Now, the support struts on the, on the crossbar, I now know why they disappeared. But why the support struts across the top that were supposed to, of the, 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 the bearing, if you will, why that disappeared, I, well, it's still not even disappeared, it, uh, as you'll see at the end of this bit. It's still there, it doesn't, just doesn't catch. All right, that's a bit, there we go. Did you, did you see that little, little spark of inspiration come across there? That was me figuring it out. But still, zoom in they're there why does it not hold I don't know if someone could tell me please this this will save a lot of uh, head banging against the floor basically uh, right so I decided at this point that maybe like building this great big structure all in one isn't the way to go um, so I, at this point I'm working on the decoupling device and how to make it sort of like firm yet actually decouple uh, unfortunately on this one it just all gummed up together. Uh, I don't know what I did wrong, I just went and scrapped it all. Um, yeah, no troubleshooting here, I just had enough, as you can tell. <laughs> so on this next one, it's almost the same system, but I uh, just put it together a bit more carefully, basically. And there we have our first over the top of the bar. I, I'm feeling good at this point, I'm halfway to my goal. I'm like, yes! All right, so I made a little box unit to go on top. I'm like, mm, yeah, this should work. Um, and there, it's all looking good. I'm like, yeah, it, it does that. Still, I do not know why it did, does that. Also, check out the distance on that. That, that was my best throw. Um, yeah, it was really good. Uh, so I had, I can't remember if I had support units or, or give it a little tweak. Um, I think I may have given the box structure a little tweak, but still, no, uh, nice height there, nice, nice uh, cascade of explosions, doing well. Uh, ah, that's what I did, I'd put a, um, a support structure across the where the joint of the I-beam was. Um, it obviously didn't work. Um, so yeah, I've gone for this single beam structure support thing. Uh, actually, it's by far the strongest structure for holding it on. Um, but I, yeah, like look at that box, that box is solid, there is no reason that that should have given out. Still none, none that I know. Right, what did I do different here? Ah, uh, I took down some of the power, I was thinking that maybe, um, yeah, it, it was just too powerful for the beam, I was just like glitching through it, through some sort of weirdness of maths. Uh, and now I inadvertently left my recording on, so we're going to um, very quickly just go through what I've done to change onto this one. Um, so I was thinking maybe it uh, falling down the long edge and hitting the corner. Oh, first I tried to reinforce this corner that I'd figured out was the one that kept on failing on. I love this music at twice speed, especially the way the, my editing software does it, it's very weird. So I pop that on and then like the symmetry, uh, and then I try and apply some symmetry, but obviously where the plates don't exactly align to each other, you can't go for edge bits. Um, it turns out that edge bits weren't what I wanted anyway, I ended up going from the inside. So if I turn symmetry back right on now, I'd have saved myself a whole lot of work. But um, yeah, I'm a bit derpy when it comes to these sort of things. So uh, no, that didn't happen. I just went around and built the whole frame by hand. Um, well, I, I say the whole frame. I built the top half and went, you know what? I'm really bored of this. Let's just see if it breaks or not. Just like that. <laughs> So back here, 
quick rearrangement of the staging. I, I started off trying to rearrange it, but every time that I, I, I like in the vehicle assembly building, but every time I did that, it just reset when I went back because like I'd change something and then the, the, the supports would be the last thing to go on. So I've now done supports all the way around. Um, I'm slowly coming to realization that uh, maybe, just maybe this design isn't gonna work. But I persevere on. I, I turn down the power even more, and I get that, which, again, makes me feel good about about how my things are going. Uh, another small tweak, literally just realignment of boards, trying to make things mesh a bit bit harder together and not be so weak and easy to slip through. One. Ah. Yeah, I got round once and then it fell, which you know is well beyond what my original idea was. I just wanted to go once round. That that was great. Uh, I went a whole once and a bit. Uh, this is me just checking the box. I'm like, well, why, why, why is it failing? I literally cannot see a reason why. And this is just a rerun. I've not even, like, I've, I, I don't even. I've not done anything to it. It's exactly the same. And this time round, I'm all good. And I don't know why. But there we go, mission achieved guys. Uh, thanks very much for joining me for this adventure and as a small bonus, I've got all the, the many, many failures that led up to this point. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, check out the other videos I've got. And I'll see you all next time. Bye -bye.